I called a cab earlier. Local company, Aisha's Taxis. Excellent service. Got me here in no time. Unsurprising, really. I mean, look at what turned up. Hands down, the quickest cab I've ever been in. Which got me thinking, how fast could this thing actually go? So I had a word with Aisha. Asked if we could borrow her cab for a trip to the seaside. To Bamborough Beach, in fact, where we could stretch the taxi's legs a bit. Although, I might have forgotten to tell her who'd be driving. You've guessed it. The cabbie will always get you to your destination very early, but probably won't be anywhere near where you asked to go. In 200 metern, links abbiegen. Now that's what I call a cab. No clattery diesel engine here. This has a V12 with over 750 horsepower, plus bucket seats. Beaded bucket seats, presumably. From now on, I say all cabs should have wide bodies and flared arches. Think about it. More stability, more speed, more downforce, more room for your terrified passengers. It even has slick tyres for maximum grip on a bone-dry drag strip, so they should be interesting when we hit the beach. Stick there. I'd say we're nicely warmed up for the next bit. So here we are then. In the old days, daredevils used smooth, sandy beaches like this to see how fast their cars could go. Many early land speed records were set on beaches. Miles of space, nothing to hit. Sounds easy, right? Oh, look at that! Laying some pretty squirmy tracks there, Stiggy. That's what happens with 750 horsepower on sand. But that's the challenge here. Go as fast as possible all the way to the top of the beach. The thing is, there's something I haven't told the stick. Record rules say you must do two runs, one in each direction, before the clock runs out. Which means, Stiggy, pulling off the world's swiftest U-turn. Which, of course, is when the handbrake comes in handy.
A five-star ride from the stick there. Mini cab, maximum speed. Next time I need a ride to the airport, I know who I'm calling. And all of this off-road action has given me an idea.